Hi everyone, the month of December has started so it's time to show everything that I've colored in the month of November 2019 and we're diving straight in with Hanalyn, the fairy tale princesses and storybook darlings. I love Hanalyn's work so it's almost every month that I color one picture in at least and I did this one I've used marker base for her dress uh, shaded it in with Holbein pencils hair and face is Holbein uh, without the base layer of something the background is um, Neo Color 2 and for the soil and the pumpkins I have used Arteza gouache. It's not perfect these pumpkins but I was fairly happy with the effect that I that I got. And I'm going to try and I haven't grabbed an uh, A torch. I've used my um, glossy accents on this rose. It's not only shimmering, it's not picking it up quite well. No. And I have to use my daylight lamp because it's a very dark still when I'm filming. It's a gray day, no sunshine. So. But this is the first one. I'm going to I'm going to put it here. The second one was inspired by I think it's a Russian girl. Her channel is Nesmirit TV. If I'm pronouncing it correctly, I will leave a link down in the description box. She does amazing work. And so I really got inspired by one of her pictures. She colored in a clown, also in the be Beauty of Horror 2, I think it was. And um, yeah, it was so inspiring how she did her background and that white border. I just had to try it out myself. So, and that's how this guy is, uh, was born. Um, most of it was Neo 2, I think. For the pencils, I'm not sure what I've used anymore. Um, I think probably the luminance ones. And then to give it a horror look, I've splattered down some uh, red acrylic paint afterwards. And I've used some gold paint. No extra glitter, I think, except for some dots here on the yeah keyhole. But that was it. It's a bit of a different kind of style of coloring, but really like it. Then I grabbed my Misfit Special Color in Heaven magazine again. It was a, a while since I colored in that one. And I decided to do these two some watercolor paint for the soil and the grass Neo 2 I think or it's possible that it's Albrecht Dürer not sure anymore for the clouds and then I have to pick it's definitely Albrecht Dürer for her clothing I think I did him as well but he got some extra pencil shading on top. She, her dress, I left alone. And I believe I, I've done her hair and skin with Prismacolor pencils. I've shaded. I've used the Arteza markers. And then of course on her umbrella. A lot of stickles. And on his legs is also some stickles. And the glossy accent on her shoe. I really like putting that glossy accent on shoes. 
It's a super fun picture to work on. I really like Misfits for. Yeah. They are the same as Hanalin ones. They create happiness instantly. Not that other artists don't, but sometimes they are a bit more difficult to get into. Next one. Soulmates by Hannah Carlson, the Dutch edition, with fantastic paper. Around Halloween time, I did my lovely witch. And my plan was to do this page in the same colors. But on the other hand, I decided to do something different. And so I started with the background, this Neo 2. And then I thought I had totally messed it up. Um, yeah, I, I didn't like the color palette, but a friend of mine was super supportive that I just had to yeah, work further on it, and uh, I did. And finally, when it was finished, I was super happy with the result. Um, I couldn't have imagined that the colors would match the background. So... Uh, there's a lot of shimmer paint used on this bottle, on the frog, on yeah, on every bottle, on the uh, crystals. I've used ink tents. These ones are hmm, can't remember. Maybe it's supra colors. No, uh, no, not supra colors. What am I thinking? Um, Pablo's. The Pablo pencils by Carandash, I think. So I really like how they look together. Okay. And then we hop over to Fairy Celebrations by Clara Markova. When I just got a book, I did a nameplate page. And now I did another cozy one with sleeping, yeah, fairies, dwarfs. I'm not sure what they are supposed to be. Um, I've used Pablo's for the mushrooms. Holbein, for this girl, he was... Also Pablo, I think. Inktense for a, a whole lot of other things. Luminance for the fairies. And um, color softs for the little um, yeah, butterfly insects. In fact, except for the inktense, I've used a lot of pencils that my good friend Melody gifted me. So I dedicated this page to her on Instagram um, and I decided to leave this plant blank it just has a little touch of pink and on top I did some um, metallic silver paint it's a lot of oh this is quite shiny there are stickles here on the bedding. Maybe if I'm coming closer, it's a bit better. And he has the glossy accent. Really like how this turned out. I tried to play with the light again from these lanterns on their faces and on the shoe. I wish I could have made it darker, but you really have some people that can color in very dark here at the, the edges and where the light source is going lighter, but I'm not mastering that yet. But I'm happy with how this turned out, so. And then I wanted to do a more of a wintry page and it was the longest time since I've colored in a romantic country. 
no, this was from last year. I did this page. Um, also used Pablo's some polychromoses. He's Pablo. All the rest is polychromos because it was ages since I've used the, pop, the polychromos also. For the snow I've dabbed uh, around with white acrylic paint and I've put some body glitter spray on top and it has a really nice smell. <laughs> and also in the sky there's glitter. It's just a yeah, it's snowing and it's humid and so it was suitable to have all these sparkly things next to the other. And I really like that she has some blushy cheeks. Sometimes I really am fond of little details like that. And oh yeah, for the sky it's quite buckly you can see, it's because of Neo 2. Um, I don't know if it's visible, but Neo 2's here it's visible. It trashes up my paper. I'm not using that much water, not that much Neo. Look at this, it's crumbly. So Neo 2's is a disaster in this book. And here's the snowman. But uh, I really like the end result. But it's a shame that um, Neos are practically unusable for this book. So that was this one. And then one of my newest books. I'm going to do a, a book haul and... Uh, a Christmas present haul soon, maybe at the end of the month, I'm not sure, but this will be in it. I bought myself some new books. Um, and this was one of them. A million Christmas cats. And I wanted to do another um, wintry page and I've chosen this one because I don't know why, but I'm super attracted to carousels like these. Um, if we're at a ferry or in there standing, a carousel, um, um, yeah, it's just pure magic. And they, a lot of the time they have um, pastel colors, so I did a pastel coloring on it with the Holbein pencils. Here's also um, the glossy accents. Also on top here, and it feels so nice. And although this book has double pages, I couldn't resist of using that glossy accents and stickles and yeah. I'm going to try and focus so that you can see how my little kitty cats. He has also glossy accents on his feet and on his nose. So I really had a lot of fun with this book. And I've heard that um, the books by Lulu Mayo and this one, um, I still have to discover how the paper in Lulu Mayo's books work. But I've heard that the paper was quite difficult to blend coloring pencils, but I've used different brands. I've used Pablo's, I've used Polychromos, I've used Prismacolors, Luminance to try everything out and I had absolutely no problem. And it's a, a Lark edition. So I'm not sure if they were talking about the Lark paper or the Michael O'Mara one. Because I know you have different um, publishers. I'm not sure if Michael O'Mara has published this one. I know he did for the Lulu Mayo, but this paper is really thick and I didn't have any problem blending my colors together. So 
let's hope the Lulu Mayo ones will act normal. <laughs> so that was this one. And then the last two pictures were done at the same time almost in Sagor of Sagner by Emily Leidehall Oldberg. <clears throat> I decided to do my Crystal King. I had something completely different in mind for the color palette, but um, yeah, he turned out how he turned out. I used Sony watercolors for the background because I wanted to do something different and not always use Neo colors too. And Sony watercolors are comparable with the Kuretake ones. They're they're not small pens and they feel oily and more thick than a normal watercolor. Really lovely paints, not too expensive either. And so I've put on some water on my page and then dabbed with three different colors on it. And then my crystals are done with watercolor pencils. The chair was Durban drawing and as you can see, gold paint and also some uh, some of that um, yeah pinkish blue. And he has some stickles here and there. Really liked working on him. And since I had a bit of smudging from the purple, I decided to do the background already for this page and it also has some effect of metallic paint above neo colors too and then the bunny and everything is watercolor pencils with of course stickles on top and a silver gel pen for the details on the scarf. And I decided to leave my bunny quite plain because he or she really popped out like this. And oops, I'm sorry, if I use my hands too much, it becomes too light. Um, I really was too insecure to use a um, um, this is a not it's not laying flat quite decent it's a bit of a a bubble in the page um, I didn't dare to use fur I can color in fur not perfectly but it's doable but only on little animals um, on such a big one <laughs> it was um, no so I decided just to do some water coloring here and there with one color and leave it. And I'm really happy with this double page. Um, I'm glad that I tried to match the colors because this is Neo, this is watercolor pencil. But they match. And um, although this isn't purple, it's aubergine. Um, it's... A nice, uh, how do you say it, a nice combination of both. And normally in a double page book, I try to avoid to use stickles the, yeah, since recently, but I just couldn't resist. So I'll, I'm not sure how I will solve it when I will do the next page, but um, I'll see how it goes. And I will have to work this uh, or make it disappear so with this double page spread in front i'm going to say goodbye i hope you've liked this video uh, please give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe to my channel if you want to see more i'm uh, a bit behind with filming but yeah that's due so to some reasons um one being the new law that um, YouTube and Coppa and I don't know who else 
is uh, going through some coloring channels are disappearing and it's making me very sad um, but yeah in the future I will try to be more active again um, so I'm definitely not quitting uh, as long as everything is still unsecure um, I'm just leaving my channel open and we will see how it goes in the future so thank you everyone for watching take care and see you in the next video. Bye.